Once upon a time, there was a young boy whose parents taught him to use his time to help others. This boy grew into an adult, became an educator, a father, a veteran, and a volunteer. And he would say, giving to others without anything in return is the greatest gift that you could give someone. The man became a teacher. He even had his students give their time to local organizations to contribute to their community. The man became older and retired, but still gave his time to the children of the communities who needed help reading. Um, he taught English. He helped families find resources by volunteering in the local school system. He enjoyed helping others and developed a love of volunteering. He was able to use his talents to encourage others in the community that education was the most important and to introduce the community resources to parents. He took his time to, to take the parents to interviews by translating. He sat many hours in DSS helping families get assistance. He sat with the children, teaching them to read and speak English at night. Went to their homes, helped with homework, helped with home repairs <coughs> if needed, and volunteered to help families during parent-teacher conferences, and even went to doctor's appointments. All those tasks were unpaid just because he had a passion for volunteering. This volunteer gave countless hours to helping those who needed love and encouragement and a fostering of importance of education. He had a true servant's heart for volunteering. And I can tell many, many other stories about this man and the many hours he volunteered to help others. I guess we would use the term he would get the shirt off his back. He raised his children to have a servant's heart, to use efforts and talents given to them to help others. His children are now grown and their children are grown. And now his children and grandchildren volunteer and even choose careers in the human services field. His daughter is now a director of volunteer services at a facility for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities and volunteers at a women's shelter. You see, having the heart of a volunteer is contagious. It's all about what we teach our youth and others and see what a wonderful impact that he made. And I know you're wondering who this man can be. Well, this man is my father. A man who taught me to love and encourage others through volunteerism. He's 97 now. And to this day, people approach me and ask if I'm his daughter, and I proudly say that I am. They continue to tell me how he volunteered to help their families by building ramps for their brother that was in a wheelchair, helped with transportation, and so much more, things that we didn't know he did. Hopefully this impact was so grand that those individuals who were touched by him are volunteering now and giving back to the community. So my question for you today is, how do you help make volunteering contagious? And the moral of the story is, volunteering makes a difference in the lives of others. Not only your life, but someone else's life, and maybe somebody's life that you didn't even know that you touched. I encourage each of you to take the time to give back to the community by volunteering. Thank you.